Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at 0.9.0, the Epigee update. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is the interface has changed a little bit. There's been a bunch of little tweaks here and there, but for the most part the list on the left here now uses icons instead of just spelling it out with text. Uh, this has been something that's been highly requested, and I've been kind of pushing back against it for a while, but uh, yeah, I ended up just biting the bullet and doing that. I think it looks a lot better. Nice thing about this is you can get all the turrets on screen at once instead of having to scroll through the list. Now, of course, if you don't like the way this looks and you preferred the old text list that's still supported, you just uh, go into the options menu and turn on legacy menu mode, and it's still there for you. Alright, let's talk about the map that's underneath. Uh, this one's called Epigee, just like the update. And the creeps are going to spawn here and, well, immediately just run to the driller, so you're going to want to plug this hole and send them around a long way. And the idea here is that you take advantage of these platforms that are kind of fanning out like this, and you're going to want to push the creeps as far to the ends of those as you can. And yes, this map has porters, so you're going to want to make sure you've got some jagged turns to counter that. This map is also relatively easy, it's pretty high up the list. A lot of people were asking for easier maps, so I made a couple. And yeah, this is one of them. Alright, the next map we're looking at here is Gemini, and you can see that you've got two spawn points. They're gonna want to travel up these bridges and to your drill over here. But you can take advantage of this kind of interconnected uh, highway of teleporters. And you'll notice that these uh, little C-shaped platforms are three wide, so if you're really clever about it, you can get the creeps to pass through these areas more than once. This one is a little harder than Epigee, but it's still pretty early in the list. Again, I wanted to make some easier maps for everyone. At least I hope. I kind of have developer powers, so I can't really tell what's super difficult and what isn't, but hey, let me know everybody. I'm more than happy to make some tuning changes. Alright, so the last map we're going to be looking at here is a randomized one, so it's way down the list, called Loophole, and it's got all these loop-de-loops attached to these platforms, as well as a big mess of teleporters, and you can see that the loop-de-loops are changing, some of them are going under or over the platforms as I'm flipping through the randomizer, creeps are spawning from different places, some of the teleporters are attaching in different places, so yeah, this one's going to be quite the mind-bender, I think. Alright, moving on from that, uh, one thing I did was add a bunch of new chatter files, 19 of them, so some people were complaining that Brian's chatter was a little bit samey. I'm on it. And yeah, I can agree with that. So I added a few more. Do I even have a choice? Alright, moving on, we have a new sort type called Hostile. So if you set your turrets to shoot Hostile, they'll prefer to shoot at things that are shooting back at them. All the hostile creeps are weighted, so things like stingers are low priority, where something like a leviathan is maximum priority, and then you got bosses and other attacker creeps kind of in the middle. But yeah, you can set your turrets to hostile now, and they should do a better job of killing those jerks. Alright, next item, we have a bit of an art change, so I changed these tiles a little bit to be a little bit brighter. As well as these bridges are a bit brighter, and I've added this trim here, so I noticed some people were trying to build turrets on the bridges or wondering why they couldn't. So I wanted to make sure that there was a bit more of a visual distinction between these two elements. Not a big thing, but I just wanted to call it out. Alright, another thing I did was expand the demo version to include a new map. So the map Tilt is now available in the demo, so it has four maps. So if you've got friends that are interested in tower defense games, but they're kind of on the fence, maybe let them know that there's a nice fresh off the press demo version for them to try. Okay, so this was a relatively small update. There is a bunch of tweaks and fixes and stuff that you can check out in the patch notes as per usual. But I did want to mention that this is pretty much the last early access update. The next version will be 1.0 and that will be coming very soon. I wouldn't expect there to be too much for 1.0. I don't want to make anything that will destabilize the release. So it's mostly going to be like a number change, a formality, and then after 1.0, you'll see some other maps and some other updates. And things will just sort of carry on as usual, but at a bit of a slower pace. It doesn't need to be in early access anymore, the story's complete, 
We have 55 maps in the game at this point. So that's almost 30 hours worth of game, assuming you're not even failing any of the maps. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. I just want to say thanks to everybody that's been with me since the beginning, going through this process with me. Most of the stuff that went into the game during Early Access was from user suggestions. I don't like to make plans, I like to kind of react to what people are saying, and your feedback has always been invaluable to me, and I love that. So yeah, moving forward after 1.0, keep the suggestions coming, you never know. I'm still going to be working on the game, and I know there's some of you that have been holding out for 1.0, so that's coming real soon. And that's all I got for today, everybody. You have yourself a good one.